Here's the former UCLA Bruin, Kaimi Fairbairn, to get this one started. And we are underway from Arrowhead. Fielded just outside the goal line. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. And he goes out of bounds, just shy of the 40, right around the 39. So solid starting field position. Time to get our first look at one of the star faces of the NFL, Patrick Mahomes and his Kansas City offense. Really the gold standard among NFL offenses since he became the starter in 2018. And simply put, for many, he's the gold standard for quarterbacks in today's NFL because of his ability to create, find the open man, use all the different arm angles that he has. He's a complete package, and boy, his team loves to play around him. That's complete to Tony. And they'll get him down on the other side of midfield. Throwing on first down is Mahomes. Under pressure, and the Texans able to get in there for the sack. That one will set him back nearly 10 yards here on first down on the sack. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. They're unable to connect, but a late flag comes in. And the contact may have come too early. Trying to defend the out route there, got the P.I. call. And you know what's difficult about that one is sometimes you want to make the undercut move and go for the football, and other times you just want to hang on the upfield shoulder and make the tackle. I think he got caught in between and created a foul. A first down run, not going to get him a whole lot. Maybe a yard. Yeah, it looks like just one yard there, so that'll bring up second and nine. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Mahomes going to throw. He'll find Juju Smith-Schuster. And he's going to be taken down with another first down as the stop's made at the Texans 26. That early game script that they drew up is working pretty well here on this first drive. Already in field goal range, Charles knocking on the door of the red zone. You know, Brandon, when we met with the coaching staff, they kind of predicted that they would come out firing like this. I think you and I were a little skeptical it would be this easy. But they certainly knew what they were doing in scouting, in preparation, and understanding what their team was capable of. Second down, McKinnon. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to bring up a third and about seven left. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And that'll be caught by Tony. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's a great example right there to remind everyone of what a weapon he can be as a mobile quarterback, Charles. Nice play to escape the pocket and get his offense into the red zone with a first down. The defensive coach is losing. And he's going to be taken down, sacked back around the 18-yard line. More than one defender there, and that's a loss of five on the sack. So after a rare misstep on this drive, they'll try to make amends on second and 15. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. A partner guaranteed they approach this play with the idea of making up ground to make third down manageable. Unfortunately, with that incompletion, right back where they started on the last snap. Now they need a big... And this is going to be intercepted. Derek Stingley picks it, and the Texans are going to take possession here. It's a touchback, and they'll take over at the 20-yard line. First and 10 now for Mills and the Texans at their own 20-yard line. Mills throw taken in by Collins. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and 10. A first down throw for Mills. That's caught by Howard. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. That tight end position, it just seems to continue to evolve every year in the NFL. Yeah, you're getting really terrific athletes. A lot of them maybe were wide receivers at one point. They continue to give you speed, great hands, and big bodies, which make them excellent targets for quarterbacks. Under pressure, and he'll go down. 
They'll sack him on what ought to be the final play of this first quarter. Frank Clark fighting his way right home to get the sack. Texans football to start quarter two. A tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Now on fourth down, it's Cameron Johnston on to punt it away. Back deep is Kadarius Toney. He'll send this one into the Midwestern air, and it's a good one. This is fielded at the seven. 48-yard punt, seven on the return. And the Chiefs are going to take over with a long field ahead and a first and ten. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. Remember last time out, they threw the interception on their first drive. Good news, their defense backed him up, so it's still 0-0 here as they begin their second possession. Yeah, and what a great way to judge a defense. How do they handle what we call sudden change when all of a sudden, you know, it goes against their offense and they have to run out in the field and try and put out the fire? Give this one great kudos for getting out there and not letting that interception lead to points. Excellent job by them defensively. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's going to be stopped well short of what he needed as the tackle is made at the 18-yard line. On fourth down, Tommy Townsend to punt for Kansas City. Desmond King back deep. Take it at the 37. That'll go as a punt of 42, seven on the return. And the Texans will take over with a first and 10. Now the rookie fourth round pick. This is Damian Pierce to about the 48 yard line. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Pierce gets it again on second down. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up the third down. Looking to throw his Mills. Throw right side, caught by O.J. Howard. And to the 49-yard line, but no further. And obviously, he is well short of the first. On fourth down, out is the putter, Cameron Johnston, to boot it away. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And the putt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. And Kansas City's offense now set and ready to go. We've seen both of these offenses still sort of in that figuring things out phase, but I suspect some action on the scoreboard soon as they start out here first and two. And he's got it. What a catch on the sidelines. Give him 32 on the play. In our pregame meeting, all they talked about was keeping him hemmed in and wanting him to make his throws from the pocket because they knew he was pretty dangerous if he got outside. And he just showed it right there. Pretty good arm, too. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Straight ahead they go with McKinnon. And an excellent job of finding the opening as he's got this now all the way down to the 22. 16 more on that one and another first down. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. Mahomes now on first down. And that is caught. Touchdown. Juju Smith-Schuster, a 22-yard touchdown grab. And the Chiefs post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. 
And his kick is good to make it 7 0 KC. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it's kept up by the touchdown from Juju Smith Schuster. Now, after the touchdown, here's Bunker on to kick it away. And Smith chooses not to return, and they'll bring it out to the 25. Houston set to take over. They'll be looking to match that touchdown from a moment ago. 7-0 is the score as they begin with a first down. play of the drive and also give him a first down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now Mills. Incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know. <laughs> He's got to throw it better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. They got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. Deep ball down, second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. On third down, here's Mills. It's hauled in by Brandon Cooks. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs 42. Here's Mills. And his throw's going to be incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. And he'll be brought down inside the four yard line. Now the Texans are going the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. And they'll throw again. Here's Mills. And he's got a man. It's the tight end Howard complete. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 17-yard line. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. He did a fine job there not hitting it before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. And you're going to get him. So he rifles one that's intercepted. And the Chiefs are going to take over here at their own 22-yard line. Definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake, partner, because this is still a one-possession game. And that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover. Now, pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. The defense rising to the challenge and setting him back on the sack. So that now four first-half sacks. This pass rush has been unrelenting. And, partner, you hear that sound of paper being ripped to shreds? That's a game plan that they've had so far because they've got to say to themselves right now, we have to do something differently. And they're going to get this beyond the 30 before it's taken down. Excellent pickup of 34 yards. So we've reached halftime with just the luck. Due to time constraints, we move you forward in today's broadcast to the beginning of the third quarter. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Texans down on the scoreboard, but they do get the first crack here as we are back underway in the second half. 
And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. And the Texans getting ready to go here to begin the third quarter. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. They'll start with the option. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Mills to throw it. He finds his tight end, Howard. That's complete. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. I got a kick out of that one, partner. You and I talk often about trying to hide receivers in certain situations. But a guy of his size can't really hide it. But the tight end drag route, definitely an effective way to sneak him across the formation for an easy completion and a first down. From the 40 now on second down, Mills flushed out right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. There's that high motor that made George Carlock as a day one draft pick. His continuous effort to get there for the sack. Third and long for Mills. Out to the left there and complete to Howard. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. So the completion good for six yards. And it'll be fourth down. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. 39 yards on the punt, give him just one yard on the return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. Now we take a glance at the offense as they work their way back out for their first possession of the second half. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and 10. Then he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Looking to throw is Mahomes. And he's taken down. Back in his own seven. Jerry Hughes gets in there to drop him for a loss of 13 yards, and it's also fourth down now. On is the punter Townsend as he gets this one away. And it's going to be a short field to work with after this one. It's touchdown at the 45-yard line. The first carry now for Rex Burkhead. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. A pickup of 11 and a Texans first down. First and ten, it's Pierce. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. To throw, Mills. A quick throw, knocked away, and incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And look at the scoreboard of where we are in this game. It comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points, and the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. His impatience has to be bubbling over, trying to find a way to get his team to the end zone for the first time. He did find a way to break contain and get outside to buy his receivers a little extra time, but the connection couldn't be made on that throw. So the three points there in CD, that helps him inch a bit closer. Yeah, partner, when you're losing, 
any points you see go on the board in your favor, you're happy to take them. Fairbairn now following the made field goal. He'll send this one away. Taken at the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was he? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go around, the offense won the challenge. On first down now, run with McKinnon. Brought down that time by Christian Kirksey. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run. We're back now in KC. It's the Chiefs with the lead and the football here as we get set for quarter number four. Hands it off out of the gun. And this defense not giving him anything there. Maybe a yard up to the 36. That's it. That's what you want. Straight ahead, positive gain. Just keep that clock ticking. The offense on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third and four. Here's Mahomes to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And oh, he's just going to be short here, barely. Maybe by a half a foot. It'll be fourth and inches. Good reactions there defensively. That screen was a little slow in developing, and they shut that one down with little gain. takes it himself and he is going to have the Chiefs first down as they manage to convert and that'll keep the drive alive they only got a couple but a couple's all that they needed as they convert on fourth and Mahomes going to run again and the play goes nowhere losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39 nice play by Jerry Hughes to drop him behind the line. But sometimes that option can get bogged down before the gears really even get into motion. And I think that's what we saw there. And I think what he saw, he saw defensive end right in his face because he looked up and he was right there. Didn't even have a chance to get going. From the gun, they will run with McKinnon. He'll get about three as he's brought down right around the 42. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. Now the throw on third down. Knocked away and incomplete. Well, he's smart enough to avoid the taunting rule, but I guarantee he quietly has told them, you might want to stop coming after me downfield because I just broke up another pass and took away a big shot that you were trying to succeed with. On fourth down, the punt team is on as this is sent away. Here's King. That'll go as a 42-yard punt, but a net of 32. They had a 10-yard return, and the Texans will take over. Now comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. Their defense accomplished step one of the mission. They forced the punt. Now they'll look to erase that deficit and take a fourth-quarter lead. On first and 10, Mills throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. Mills now. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. This defense has passed its first two test battles and back-to-back incompletions. They know there's probably another throw coming on third down. Let's see if they decide to force the issue by sending people on a blitz. 
Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Well, obviously searching for their first touchdown this game, Parker. That quick three and out, that's not going to achieve that at all. Give victory to the secondary there. They brought out tight coverage on that third down snap. On is the punter, Johnston, now as he sends this one away. It's a 47-yard punt, return of six. And they will take over first and ten. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. Their defense got the stop, forced the punt, and now you really start to monitor the clock as they nurse this slim lead. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 11 to kick off the drive, and it's a quick first down. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Now a give, this is McKinnon. And he goes across midfield and down into Houston territory. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. So fresh out of the two-minute warning, and here's another timeout taken with 1.55 remaining. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. And he's got some space here. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Now the Texans will use one of their two remaining timeouts, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. clock here as they keep it on the ground and nothing much materializing there on the first down run he'll get a couple and that's it this in all probability another run here on second and eight from the gun he'll hand this off and he'll get this one down to about the 17. Another two-yard gain there, but they'll need to do better this time. It's third and six. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And all the way down inside the five to the four. 70 yards on the ground for him now on nine carries. The carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. It's first and goal, and a late touchdown at this stage could officially salt this one away. And here's a handoff out of the gun. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. A line of scrimmage once again, the five, as they get ready for second and goal. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he'll get it down close to the goal line, but not quite in. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play, third and goal. They'll try to run this one in. And he's across for the late touchdown. And in the final seconds, that one should just about put a capper on this game. Butker on for the PAT. And this one's right through to make it a 13 3 ball game. So that one a pretty time consuming 10 points. Touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And Smith not going to bring it out, so it's a touchback. But Houston's offense taking over again. What do you do here down like this in this situation? Do you maybe just pick something out of the playbook you haven't called in a while, or you call it a day? 
You can do that, or you pick something that's a staple for you and should work better, and try and execute that on the way out the door. Maybe get back to base and feel a little bit better as you end up as you end the ball game. It's been a frustrating one for you. We'll see if they go back to base. Throwing again on second and ten. Mills. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's knocked away and incomplete. When you're leading in the final quarter, your radar has to be up for any potential deep shot. And probably not the last one they're going to see in this game, not as long as they hold this lead. He's going to let it fly. And that will be incomplete. As time has run out on this football game. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And they were spurred on. 